you know, people have been coming up to me all year saying, my God, Gwyn, this must have been so great for you, the attack on Iraq, a major war to cover. Well, first of all, I don't think the so-called attack on Iraq was a real war. It was more like a putsch. Now, the dictionary defines a putsch as the sudden attempt to overthrow a government. Now, the father of the modern putsch was George Bush Sr., who attempted his putsch unsuccessfully in 1991. And then in 2003, we got the son of a putsch, George Bush Jr. This wasn't a real war. Real wars, the kind I especially like, involve face-to-face -face scratching and bashing and slicing and dicing with swords and axes and big steel balls with spikes in them, which... I especially adore. If you want a real war, you can't do better than the Peloponnesian War of 431 BC. This was a gorgeous war between Sparta and Athens. It lasted for 10 bloody years. And the only armor these soldiers had were tiny silver breastplates. Otherwise, they slugged it out wearing only these little pleated skirts, and they bashed at each other with big rocks and poked each other's eyes out with giant pointy sticks and set fire to each other's little skirts, which made them all howl in pain and search madly for a vacant pond where they could douse their flaming genitals. This was the kind of war I would have liked to have been embedded in as a reporter, not some sissy effort led by the son of a putsch. Until then... I've got Gladiator set to go in my DVD player for the 45th time. My God, that's a magnificent film. I'm Gwyn Dyer.